Happy 10 months, Gabriel. Happy 10 months. <coughs> Happy 10 months. Are you 10 months old? Do you have food in your eyebrow? <laughs> All right. So today is the day. This little one is 10 months old. And this is his 10 month update. So we haven't done an official weight yet, but the other day when we weighed him before his bath, he'd actually lost a little bit of weight from our last nine month update, which makes me sad. And he was at 21 pounds, eight ounces, and he was at 22 pounds last time. So I don't think he's gotten too much longer. Um, and because he's still able to wear his nine month clothes. Um, so that makes me think he hasn't grown too many inches. But he ranges from nine month clothes to 18 month clothes. He can wear some 12 months and 18 months. So we're using it all until it's completely stretched out and doesn't work anymore. He's in size four diapers. And we had to switch diaper brands. We were Pampers people. But now we're Huggies people because we found that the Pampers diapers were um, making little cuts, little uh, scrapes on his thighs. Well, we tried not to put them so tight, <laughs> but they still were. So we switched to Huggies. So now we're doing Huggies. So I think this is going to be a short video because he doesn't want to stay still. Um, he, food wise, he hasn't tried too many new things. We've kept our same little rotation of the foods we know he's liked. We have introduced finger foods though. We've introduced little creamies and it makes me absolutely terrified to give them to him because I am so worried he's going to choke on them. And I'm not going to lie, the very first time I fed them to him, I broke them in quarters and pre-moistened them. Yep, that's right. They're the ones that dissolve on your tongue. But it is really cute to watch him try to pick it up because he gets stuck in his little palms and he like shovels it in his mouth. But he's doing pretty good with him. Other than that, no new foods. Um, sleep wise, so Jacob has mentioned chicken. protein. Oh, Jacob just reminded me that we've introduced uh, chicken and turkey. And we talked about that last time. We said we we're going to get it in baby food jars. And so that's what we have been doing. He likes those okay. He's not like, ooh, beats about them, but he's tolerable to them. <laughs> so food wise, thank you, honey. Uh, sleep wise, Jacob has mentioned that we've been doing some sleep training. I tried to find a really gentle method and I feel like it's working pretty well. We've actually gotten a couple of five hour stretches, which is awesome and that's exactly what I wanted. And we've um, been able to get him to fall asleep on his own at night and he's done that too. And we actually had, I had one night where he barely even like made half of a little baby cry and then he fell asleep. So I feel like that's good progress. That is to say last night was terrible and he got up at two and didn't couldn't fall back asleep for an hour and so I actually had to nurse him and I've been trying to night wean him as well and not nurse him through the um, a.m. hours because for a while there it was every two three hours I was having to nurse him um, so that's sleep we are trying to transition to two naps a day where he has one hour long nap in the morning and then a longer afternoon nap for like two hours he has not taken a two hour nap in the afternoon. That's the goal. That is not what's happening. It's usually just an hour, which I know daddy would appreciate a two hour nap, but not so much right now. So we're still working on naps, but sleep is pretty good. We started a little bit of an earlier bedtime at like 6.30. Um, and actually with this sleep training, he's been sleeping a little later because for a while there he was getting up at like 5.30 or 6. But lately it's been about 6.30 or 7. So I figure, I consider that a success. So that's sleep. Um, development wise, he is so mobile. He's crawling completely on his hands and knees. He's not um, army crawling on his belly anymore. And he's fast now. He started out kind of slow on his crawl, but now he's really fast. And he pulls up on everything, as you can tell. Nothing is safe anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the, thing that I'm probably the most excited about is that he waves now. I've literally been trying to teach him to wave since he was born and he does it now. He's not going to do it on camera because he's got this thing to play with. Look, looky daddy. Looky daddy, let me have this. 
Look again. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, boo. <laughs> of course he's not going to do it when I talk about it. But he waves now, and it's really, really cute. And he'll even do it when he wants something. Like if you are walking towards him with food, he'll hold both arms out and do that. So it's really cute. He uses it to communicate. He pulls himself up on everything, and he also has started to do what they call cruising, where he'll pull himself up and he'll like walk alongside of it. So he'll do that in his crib and his pack and play and even the couch, and it's really cute. You can tell he's preparing to take his first steps. He um, is still on his tippy toes when he pulls up. He's not flat-footed yet, so I don't think we're close to walking or standing independently. I think we've still got a ways for that, but... He does try to pull up on everything. He's also discovered the dogs, as he's doing right now. I don't know if Charlie's in the shot, but Charlie's sitting next to us. And he will chase the puppies. And Charlie will actually play with them, and it's really cute. He uh, will be on the bed, and Charlie will start out over here and run, and Gabriel will chase him. So he's discovered the puppies, and he's discovered that he wants them. <coughs> For his loves and his hates. He loves, what does he love, Daddy? Being outside. Oh, he loves being outside. He's definitely an outside baby, which now that the weather is not quite so hot, I'm okay with. Although his little, um, his little ac not acne, eczema on his cheeks uh, definitely gets a lot redder <sighs> when he's been outside for a while, so we try to limit that. He loves, uh, always, we say this every month, other children and other babies. Um, he's really fascinated by them and likes to watch them, so that's great. He loves remotes. There could be a handful of toys in front of him, and if, but if there was a remote, he would choose that, choose that one. We actually are planning on seeing if we can find, oh, buddy, seeing if we can find a, uh, dog toy, a chewable dog toy remote, so he can chew on that. Because I worry, uh, the Roku remotes are fine because there's not that many buttons, but I worry about other remotes with having a lot of buttons and if on the off chance, and he could do it, I'm sure, pop a button off and chew on it and choke on it. So we want to try to find a dog toy that is made to be chewed. Chewed? 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 Chewed, chewed on. Chewed upon. <laughs> We'd like to find one of those. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Still roll. <laughs> Don't keep filming that. He's been pretty spitty uppy today. This is a real life video, you guys. <laughs> He's done a lot of firsts this month. He went on his first airplane ride. He actually went on two airplane rides. And he did okay. Insert clips, links to those videos here. <laughs> or here, wherever it fits. He went to his first family reunion on Jacob's side of the family, so that was fun. He, what else did he do? It was first pumpkin patch, had his first Halloween. Which if you hadn't watched that video yet, it's really cute. Okay, so the last thing we'll talk about is breastfeeding. So I've been struggling lately with um, low supply. I really feel like my milk is starting to dry up, so to speak. Um, and I've tried drinking more, eating more, drinking the fenugreek tea, all that kind of stuff, and I'm just, oh, I know. He's sad about it, too. I'm just not pumping very much. And, oh, <laughs> incoming. And Jacob has really had to dip into our freezer stash, and we don't have that much left in our freezer, and it's giving me a lot of anxiety and stress. And so I decided that we were going to go ahead and try to supplement with formula during the day. One of his bottles that he gets with Daddy, make it formula um, and see if that helps. We can keep our freezer stash for like emergencies if he gets sick and he needs that uh, breast milk. But use formula during the day to supplement what I'm not producing. And Jacob tried it for the first time today and he didn't take to it. And it was only the first time and I'm trying not to be discouraged about it. And I mean we've made it 10 months. My goal was a year but I think 10 months is a good journey. I'm just trying to get over my guilt about not breastfeeding anymore. But it's hard and everything you read makes you feel so guilty and that you need to keep doing it for a year. But fed his best and I just want him to be happy and healthy. And that's because he lost a little bit of weight 
uh, since last month. That's my concern is that he's not getting enough. We've decreased the number of solid foods that he's had, that he's having during the day. We were doing two pretty consistently, but I was worried about supply and that he was not taking enough breast milk, and so we dropped it down to just one solid food <laughs> event a day. And still, I don't feel like my supply has gotten any better. And we are, I did night wean, so I don't know if that has something to do with it. So there's just so many factors, and I'm just having a lot of anxiety and frustration about it. And I just want him to be healthy and happy and fed. <laughs> so we're going to keep trying to supplement with formula, and I'll keep pumping while I'm at work. And I'll keep pumping until the well runs dry. That's my goal. So, any other fun things, Daddy? Come get on camera and show them your face. Hurry up. No, I want to. So, this was an exciting month. Lots of good developments. He is so mobile and so over the all over the place. Are you waving? Um, so <laughs> it's been a really fun month and I cannot believe he is 10 months old. You guys in two months, or not you guys, I'm sorry, everybody, he, in two months, he will be one year old. Like we're already starting to talk about his first birthday party, which is insane to me. It goes so fast. You blink and you'll miss it. <sighs> and I just want my little baby. I want to be with him all the time. I'm jealous that daddy gets to be with him all day long. But I'm happy that Daddy gets to be with him so he doesn't have to be in daycare. So I think we're going to wrap it up there. This was Gabriel's 10-month update. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know how your baby was at 10 months old or if you had to start supplementing with formula if you were breastfeeding your child. And tell us in the comments those things. Like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel to see more. And check back with us next month for the 11-month update. Yay! Yay! Say bye-bye! Yay! Bye-bye! No. Oh, ow. <laughs> <laughs>